history and credentials, this move is the revolver and was created by Kelvin Chow and released to Theory 11 back in 2010. It was his debut and has become one of my all-time favorite color changes. It allows you to change a card once or several times. Um, it's a little bit of a knuckle buster, but um, we're going to get through it together. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, the first thing we'll be going over is how to revolve the cards around. And for explanation purposes, I'll be using the four aces. And I'm going to get rid of the pack. So your starting grip is, um, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to take my index and thumb and pinch on the same corner that the pip is in, which is very important. Same thing with this other hand, and that's your starting grip. I'm going to refer to this as a starting position for the duration of this video. Now, of course, if you are right-handed, then you'll do the opposite and make sure that you grip and the corners that do not have the pips. That'll be your starting grip. So we're here in uh, the starting position, and the first thing you'll want to do is begin by revolving this packet upwards. And now you are going to regrip simply by placing, uh, in this case, my left thumb comes down to this short edge here. The fingers on my right hand are going to come up on top of this short edge, which will allow me to uh, keep everything squared up and revolve this packet around my thumb until my index can reach this short edge again and uh, it'll slide back down to my thumb and you'll end up back in this starting position. So one more time, start uh, to revolve these up and your thumb comes down to the short edge whilst these fingers come up to this short edge and you revolve this around until your index can reach this top edge again and um, you just guide it down towards your thumb and you'll end up back in this position. At speed uh, it should look something like this. And here it is from a different angle. Just like that. A nice convincer you can throw in while you revolve these around is to add in this spin, which will allow you to display the front and the back. And how the spin works is from your starting position, I can use my middle finger and my index finger up here. And you can spin the card around like so, and then continue the revolution, like so. The revolution and spin are very knacky and will certainly take some practice. Once you become a little more comfortable with those, then we can move on to the next step, which will be to steal off this bottom card into a Tenkai. So let's talk about that in a little more detail. I'll first show you from this perspective to better explain. Um, so we'll do this from the top. You'll begin in the starting grip and I revolve once, twice, I do the spin, revolve a third time, and now on your fourth pass is where you're going to steal this bottom card off. And how that works is I place my thumb down here as usual. And these fingers come up here. This time as you revolve, you curl these fingers in so that I can grip this card and I can steal this card off like this, just like that. As I continue to revolve these upwards with my thumb until I can get back in this starting grip. Again, slowly. Do one, two, spin, three. On this fourth one, watch. My fingers curl in. My thumb is now 
takes over where my index was. So my thumb comes in and replaces the grip where my index was. And now I can steal this card off as I continue to revolve this up. Now, you'll continue this around until uh, these are somewhat level. And with my middle and ring, they close in and assist me in squaring this up. And I use my thumb here and this part of my hand. So all this is going to help square this up as you continue around and do the same thing. Steal this bottom card off and continue upwards. Just like that. And that is the basic mechanics for this change. From this angle from the top, so one, two, spin, three, now you'll steal this card off on this fourth pass. Grip with my thumb here. And that's how this is revolving around. See that? Until um, my middle and ring can reach this top short edge and help square. This is going to take a lot of practice, um, but just start slow and get a feel for it. And uh, it's just a matter of repetition. The more you practice, uh, the more fluid um, and even the faster it'll become. Now let's talk about how to conclude and clean this up. So I'll start from the top, our starting grip. So one, two, spin, three, steal this card off, and now I do one, two, three. On this last one, come around, square everything up, and my index is going to continue upwards. And you can end like that. So you can also do this with the deck in hand, which makes for a much better cleanup. And if you have a natural break in your cards, then use your thumb and just lift up at that. With my index finger, I'm gonna slide the deck back until I can grip with my pinky ring and the pad of my thumb here, which now gives me full mobility of my middle index and thumb here which will of course allow me to begin this. So there's one, two, spin, three, steal that off. And now one, two, three, on this fourth one, square everything up, continue this around to here. Now I do just half of a spin and display and clean up like that. 